Hello and welcome to Everyday Questions. Today we look at how and when did we start using emoticons and some fun facts around it. So let's begin. Here are five interesting facts about smileys. Number five, did you know that threatening someone with a gun emoji can actually be used against you in the court of law? Number four, the text on the book in the book emoji is actually a transcript of the Apple's Think Different ad. Number three, did you know that Wikipedia's URL link actually recognizes smileys? Number two, did you know that the time on the alarm clock emoji is actually an impossible time? Look at the place where the R hand is sitting. It is sitting between seven and eight. Did you know that iMoji is an app which can help you turn your selfies into emojis? The link for that is in the description below. Did you know that crying while smiling is one of the most used emojis in the world? Followed closely by the hearts emoji according to the emoji tracker. Have a look. So how did emoticons come into picture? Was Abraham Lincoln one of the first ones to use an emoticon? In an 1862 transcript of his speech published in the New York Times, his speech ends with a smiley, applause and laughter with a smiley face. That could be just a coincidence or a misprint. One of the first deliberate records of using an emoji was around 1881 in the Puck magazine. This was about five years before Coke was actually introduced. And Puck Magazine actually dictated how smileys could be used to show joy, melancholy, indifference, or astonishment. In an 1887 of the San Francisco Examiner, one of the critics actually used a smiley and labeled it as the snigger point. Needless to say, the snigger point never really took off. In 1982, in the Carnegie Mellon University, one of the professors was among the first ones to explicitly tell people how to use emoticons. He mentioned that smileys should be used for joke posts, whereas the crileys should be used for serious posts. However, it wasn't until the early 90s that smiley or emoticon as a term was first used in the New York Times. It was actually added to the Oxford Dictionary in 2001 and became official internet lingo in 2000. Thank you so much for watching this video. Over the past few weeks, I was traveling a bit and had undergone a dental surgery and hence couldn't upload videos on time. However, thank you so much Srikant Nair for commenting on my videos and encouraging me to post more often. A special shout out to the folks at NIT Warangal for watching my videos and sharing it with their friends. Thank you so much Surya Penmitsa, Abhiram Deenwahi and Saket Narayane. NIT Warangal, you're awesome. Please suggest me ideas to pick up topics for my upcoming videos. In case you like the video, please share it with your friends and subscribe to the channel by clicking the link here. I'll be uploading new videos every week. Thank you so much for watching and until next time, bye-bye.